Happy New Year, everybody! Darkside Phil here, and with 2013 now officially over, it's time for us to look back and crown the best games of the year. Now, traditionally, I do a top 10 countdown. This year, I'm actually going to do a few honorable mentions as well. Games that made it close, but didn't necessarily make it to my top 10 for various reasons, which we'll discuss during the course of this countdown. In addition, at looking at all of the games that came out in 2013, I realized something. This year's Game of the Year Awards is the first time that you don't know what I'm going to pick. And the reason I say that is because there were several games this year that I really enjoy that I actually didn't review for various reasons. Therefore, some of the picks on this Top 10 Countdown are going to be surprises, and you're probably going to say, wow, I didn't realize that would be there because Phil never reviewed the game. So it's going to be fun. Without further ado, let's get started with the Game of the Year. It's DSP's Game of the Year Awards 2013, the Top 10 Best Games of the Year. Honorable Mention, Battlefield 4 on the next-gen consoles, notably on PS4 where I played it. Now, you might be saying to yourself, wow, looking at Phil's videos this year, it seems that once he got his PlayStation 4, he really seemed to enjoy the online multiplayer of Battlefield 4. And so I did want to give the game a shout-out here in my Game of the Year awards, regardless of the fact that I am not awarding it a specific spot. You might be saying to yourself, why didn't it make the top 10? Well, it's very simple. First of all, I can't give it a review score because I never played through the campaign. The campaign I actually played through on the Xbox 360, and it was buggy, boring, repetitive, terrible, cliche, and one of the worst FPS campaigns I think I've ever played. So in that regard, it really weighed the game down. But I never played it on the next gen, and therefore, I don't want to dwell on the single player, because let's face it, most people aren't going to get this game for single player. They're going to get it for the online multiplayer. And I am pleased to say that as of now, most of the issues with Battlefield 4's online multiplayer have been hashed out. And on the next gen, the 64 player Conqu conquest mode gameplay is amazingly fun, incredibly great. The graphics are amazing, full 60 frames per second if you didn't catch one of my streams or watch the videos on YouTube this is the definitive FPS gameplay of 2013 by far Battlefield 4 was surpassed or surpassed Call of Duty Ghosts so if you're looking for one get Battlefield 4 Ghosts is a absolutely jump the shark it's a ripoff this year you gotta play Battlefield 4 and that's why it gets an honorable mention but now on to the official countdown with our first entry, number 10, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Now, undoubtedly, some of you probably completely forgot about this game and or overlooked it, being that it was one of the earliest releases of 2013, and historically, if it comes out first, you forget about it by the end of the year. Also, let's face it, it's a JRPG, which this day and age can be very polarizing. But Nino Kuni Wrath of the Right Witch was the first attempt to take the animation of Studio Ghibli and turn it into a video game. And let me tell you something, it worked. The amazing graphical style, the very fun turn-based gameplay, the arcing interesting fantasy story, everything about this game clicked if you're either a fan of the Studio Ghibli anime or if you're a fan of a JRPG. If you're a fan of both like I am, I mean, it just hit it on all cylinders. So, a great game, an outstanding entry into the JRPG universe. I would go as far to say I would love to see either this series continue or continue to go ahead and make Studio Ghibli, uh, you know, game-related stuff like this because I think it really do did work. So, you know, Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, great game. If you love JRPGs and you passed on this one, you gotta check it out. It's definitely worth your time. Up next on the Game of the Year countdown, a game that a lot of you probably won't expect, but I thoroughly enjoyed it multiple times this year. Check it out. 